This video covers sp hybridization of atomic orbitals. In sp hybridization, two p orbitals are left unused. That means that only this s orbital here and this p orbital here combine and mix. That gives us two sp hybrid orbitals. Each of those are about half s and half p and two unused p orbitals. For carbon, which has four valence electrons, each of these orbitals will get one electron. Here's what those orbitals look like when you put them all together. You can see one sp orbital over here on the left and another on the right, and those lobes again are not drawn in. You can see that they sit about 180 degrees apart, and this is how we get that linear geometry. Here's one of the p orbitals that will be used to form a pi bond, and here's another p orbital that will be used to form a second pi bond. In this example, we're going to look at a carbon-carbon triple bond. This is ethyne. Left carbon is sp hybridized, right carbon is sp hybridized, and you can see what they look like here. Here's the left carbon with two sp hybrid orbitals, and here's the right carbon with two sp hybrid orbitals. Each of the sp hybrid orbitals forms a sigma bond. The p orbitals each form a pi bond. So you can see the blue p orbitals forming one pi bond here, and the green orbitals forming a second pi bond. So that means that this triple bond here consists of one sigma bond and two pi bonds. So these two sp hybrid orbitals here each form a sigma bond, two sigma bonds total. Here's a quick summary on what we've learned about bond formation. Sigma bonds are formed by overlap between the sp3, sp2, sp, or s orbitals. Pi bonds are formed by overlap of two p orbitals. The first example that we looked at was ethane. In ethane, the carbons are sp3 hybridized, so this sigma bond is formed by the overlap of two sp3 hybrid orbitals. This bond over here is formed by the overlap of an sp3 hybrid orbital with an s orbital. In the carbon-carbon double bond, we have sp2 hybridized carbons. We have one sigma bond here formed by the overlap of an sp2 hybrid orbital with an s orbital, and we have a double bond here. One of those bonds is a sigma bond formed by the overlap of two sp2 hybrid orbitals, and one is a pi bond formed by the overlap of two p orbitals. In the last example, we have a triple bond. The triple bond contains one sigma bond and two pi bonds. The sigma bond is formed by the overlap of two sp orbitals, and each of the pi bonds is formed by the overlap of two p orbitals. The sigma bond here is formed by the overlap of an sp hybrid orbital with an s orbital from a hydrogen. In the next video, we'll look a little bit more at some of the trends that we see in hybridization.